Hi, I'm Rich Sanford with Dauntless Design Collaborative. This video will cover the four points that you find common in every Revit project. Now what I have here on the screen is essentially the out-of-the-box Autodesk architecture template with a few minor changes. What I did add here was I turned on the survey point, which is this triangle, the project base point, which is this circle with the X, and then I added four reference planes. What these reference planes are, the green at the intersection represents the origin point found in every project, In the red intersection is the shared coordinate system for the project. One additional step that I took was I moved the project itself represented here by the project base point 10 feet in the X and 10 feet in the Y. So the project base point and the origin point are at the same location while the survey point and the shared coordinate system is at the same location to begin. Now with those items set, what we're going to cover here is the relationship of these four points to each other. So to start, the survey point, you'll notice there are some coordinate numbers here, north, south, east, west, and elevation. And also on the project base point, you'll see those first three items here, and then there's also an angle to true north. For the sake of this video, we're only going to concentrate on the north-south coordinate and the east-west coordinate for both points. So if I click on the site, or I'm sorry, if I click on the survey point, you'll notice that the north-south is at zero and the east-west is at zero. What, the, what that is telling you is its relative location to the shared coordinate system, again, represented with the intersection of these two reference planes that are red. We click on the base point or the project base point, you'll see that we have 10 foot and 10 foot for the north south and the east west coordinate. If I zoom out here, you'll see that I have the 10 foot and the 10 foot. Now, if I unclip this and let's say I make this 20 feet in the east west now, you'll see that it moved another 10 feet to the right. And if I go back to say 10 again, it goes back to its original location. Now, if I unclip again, I'll move it back to 20 feet. And just to show you that this is the actual origin point, with it unclipped, if I right click and go to move startup location, you'll see that the project base point now moves back to the intersection of the green, which is your project origin point. 